Welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, I'll be telling you about few of the IT companies who are using irrelevant reasons, who are coming up with some absurd reasons to end the work from home, remote jobs for the employees who have been working since the COVID time. And apart from that, I would also like to tell you about an important digital product in the form of package that we have just launched. So we have just launched a package for all the testing digital products. You will get a lot of good products within this particular package itself. So you can see roles and responsibility of a manual tester, testing interview questions, rest assured interview questions, then uh, best practices that are followed in the automation. What is your contribution in the automation framework? So these are all different types of interview questions that you can get in the interviews, right? And if you will combine all these products, the price would be somewhere around 800 plus. But since I have clubbed all these things, so you would be getting them at a very discounted rate today. So you can avail this product today itself. So this is a package. So I'll be putting the link in the description as well as in the comment section of the video. And now let me tell you about one of the company who has recently tried to end the work from home. Now, whenever these things are happening, so work from home or remote jobs are getting impacted. So the first type of employees who are getting impacted are those who are not staying in the same city. For example, you got a job in the Bangalore city or you got a job at the Hyderabad location and you were working from maybe Rajasthan or maybe from Gujarat or from any other XYZ location, but you were not local to that location. So now if the work from home is getting ended, if the remote job is getting ended, then what you have to do is you have to pack your bags and you have to move to that city because the client, the companies want you to see working in the office, right? So the people who are living at a very far away distance from those particular locations are getting impacted. And this is a quite a trend that is going on in the IT industry, even if you will search on X or if you will search on any other social media things. So people have started discussing about these things and it has been found that the companies are ending work from home, permanent work from home or remote jobs facilities. So recently, if you'll see, I'm talking about the Ericsson company. So and Ericsson company, what they told is they told their employees that they need to work for 60% of their productivity should be from the office. But when the com when the employees went to the office, they found that there was no space to sit or there was no not even a space to put their laptops as well, right? So the office is full, but the employees are being told that you have to work for uh, three times a week. And there is a change in the policy as well. Earlier, they told 50%. Now they told 60%. And now slowly and gradually what is happening since the office is crowded because all the employees are coming to the office since they don't have space. Then the employees are being told to attend the calls not only from home, but even from restrooms or from toilets as well, right? Or from their cars as well. So this has been found from this company that the matters have already got worsened and since their offices are overcrowded they are forcing their staff to hold meetings in the toilets or in their cars as well so which is actually a very difficult situation uh, just just imagine as an employee you are working over there and uh, if someone is telling you that you need to attend this meeting you need to attend this call or you need to provide this update from anywhere then what would be the situation of that employee so this is a very uh dangerous decision you know you cannot attend the calls from bathrooms or from toilets right due to the overcrowded office spaces if the companies are calling their employees to the offices or they are ending their work from home policies then it becomes vital it becomes important for that particular company to make sure that there is sufficient space available not only this but if you'll see one more company Accenture they have also started calling and if you will see the appraisal cycle that they had. So since November 2022, so from December 23 to till now, they haven't given any appraisal. So if you are working in Accenture company or if you are looking forward to join such kind of companies, make sure you do some research, make sure you do some R&D and then you join. Because in Accenture, we have recently got an update that after December 2022, they haven't given any kind of appraisal. If you are being promoted, then you have been given the salary, but the hike in the salary. But if you are not being promoted, then even that particular hike is not being given. So imagine how many people would get promoted from 
a staff or from one particular department or from one particular team, very few of them. So you can say most of the folks, they are still, they haven't got the, the hike in the appraisal or any kind of salary hike as well. So which is actually very demotivating. So as an employee in the IT companies, definitely you should be able to get a good percentage hike that can motivate you to work more and more and to ensure that your career is growing, not only in the terms of financial, but also in the terms of knowledge perspective. So both the things are very important. And recently, if you are getting any offer letter with respect to remote job opportunities, with respect to permanent work from home, make sure that you get those things officially in return via email or maybe an official letter that it would be a permanent work from home. It should not happen that the companies then again start you to call you and to make you work from the office itself. These days, what is happening is many of the companies are calling their employees back to the office. They are ending the work from home and they are using some of the reasons to end this work from home. In some of the companies, they are also making the statements that the employees are not that much collaborative enough. The employees are not able to collaborate. The employees are not able to connect when they are working from home. So such kind of reasons are also being given to the employees in order to ensure that they move back to the office, right? So this was a short video that I wanted to create on, and I wanted to share with you the update with respect to the IT job market and what, what's all happening with respect to work from home, with respect to work from office jobs. So these are the things that are happening. So if you are getting a job, maybe a work from home, then ensure that you get some things officially written. If you are trying to get into a new company, make sure you get in touch with the employees who are already working there on LinkedIn, or you can also connect with us. We are available on TopMate. So I'll update you about the various companies and I'll assist you as well to make, to make the best possible decision so that your career is going in the positive upward direction, not in the downward direction, right? So you can also book a call with us on TopMate. So we are available on TopMate as well. So you can book the calls on weekends, time, Saturdays, Sundays, anytime we are available and we would be happy to assist you. Right. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.